Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be taking our command line just a little bit further, and we're going to be creating and removing directories as well as files. Now, in the last lesson, we learned that if you type ls, you'll get you'll be given the files that are in the current directory that you're in. It's going to list them for you, right? So let's change directory into my sites and then level up folder and type ls again and now let's make a new folder right so let's make a folder and we're going to call this test so to do that we want to m k d i r and that stands for make directory so you can always think you know cd is current directory m k d i r make directory so you're using the word directory a lot and of course these commands might seem sort of uh, foreign to you at first but the more you use them the easier and easier it's going to be remember them in fact uh, I would just play around with them to get your fingers used to typing them and then uh, sooner or later they'll just do the work for you now after the make dir we're gonna have a space and we're gonna put the name of our folder so like we said test and I had enter now if I hit ls again, I can see that we do have this test folder here. In fact, if I come to my actual finder under level up, you'll see that the test folder is here as well. So this is going to obviously mimic this because it's the same file system. Now let's come back to our command line here and we're inside of this directory and let's make a file now to make a file we can just type touch space and then let's just make an index.html now keep in mind there's way better ways of making a file not through command line but if you're in a pickle and you need to make a, a file touch certainly works or you uh, could probably do a I, I think you would just type vim and then the file name and, and then once you save it it'll create the file but for now touch space index.html is going to create our index file so if you type ls you can now see that it didn't actually create this index.html file in our test folder obviously because we didn't change directory anywhere right we made our test directory but we never went into it so when we typed touch index.html it's putting it at the same level as test. We want it to be inside. Of course, there's a moving command, which we'll go over later. But for now, since this file doesn't have anything in it, we will absolutely sacrifice just deleting it. So to delete a file, we just simply have to type rm space and then the name of the file. Like before, I can type in the first couple of letters and then hit tab and it's going to autocomplete. Now when I hit enter, that file is gone. A quick ls will prove that the file no longer exists in our system here. So now let's change directory inside of test. And now that we're inside of test, let's actually uh, make that file again so we can just type touch. Well, actually, we don't have to type this again. If you find yourself typing the same command over and over again, it's actually, you don't have to. So let's delete touch, and we can hit our up arrow on our keyboard, and it's gonna cycle through the most recent commands. You can see that the last command we typed was cd test, and by hitting up once, it gives us cd test. If I hit up again, it gives us ls, and if I hit up, up once again, rm index, it's just gonna keep going. So if I hit up twice more, we now have touch index.html. So instead of having to type this again, we could just hit up a few times. Now if I hit enter, now ls once more, we can see that index.html has been created inside of this test folder. This will be confirmed by going to our finder here, and you can see we have a blank index.html file. Perfect, so we now have created a file, we've deleted a file, and we've created a folder. Now let's delete a folder. So let's change directory out of test, and we're gonna delete the test folder entirely. 
And you might be thinking, well, the remove command that we used before seems right, so we could type rm space test, and you're going to get a message. That test is a directory, and the rm command will not work on directories. So you need a modifier for the rm command that's going to make it work on a directory. Now keep in mind that this command is not only going to delete the test folder, but it's also going to delete all files and subdirectories of this folder. So we can say rm space and then hyphen. The r option stands for recursive, so that means that it's going to find every entry, whether it's a subdirectory or a document. And the f option is going to stand for force, means it's going to forcefully do this. So rm space hyphen rf is going to remove a directory for you and all of its contents. So we can type rm hyphen rf and then the name of our folder. And just like that, we do ls. That folder is no longer there. And if we check out our finder, of course, it's no longer there as well. Test has gone, uh, is gone forever. So we've now created a file, we've deleted a file, we've created a folder, and we've deleted a folder and its contents. So this should get you being able to create folders more easily and things like that. In fact, I, I mean, I feel like I use the make dir command more frequently than than most commands. Uh, if you're browsing your file system, let's say you're browsing your server or something uh, through SSH, you'd be frequently wanting to create directories and modify documents. So that's great. In the next video, we're going to show you how to use Vim to edit files. Of course, there's other ways to edit files like Nano or something like that, or you could of course create a file and edit in your text editor, but it's important to know how to edit a file through command line if you need to through one of the various uh, command line text editors. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter or the Level Up forum. We love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.